for my next trick I will need here four blue cards and all blue cards are the ten of hearts okay now usually when magicians perform tricks with four cards the idea is to make the cards turn from facing down to facing up so I will try something similar but instead of making them change from facing down to facing up the idea is going to be to change their back color from blue to red so let's try it with the ten of hearts the first facing up ten of hearts a little wave and it causes the first ten of hearts to change the color so we would have to do the same thing with these three blue cards watch carefully a little wave with the first changed card causes the second blue card to change its color so now we have your second ten of hearts and by the way just in case you're wondering for this effect I'm using the ten of hearts because the ten of hearts is my favorite card but of course you could perform the trick with any card you wish now for the third blue card watch this it becomes red now we are left with three red cards and one blue card if you place the blue card amongst the red ones and give them a little wave the red card caused the facing down card, the facing down blue card to change its color so now we have here four red cards okay and of course just in case you're wondering all of these cards are in fact red and this is an effect using four blue ton of hearts which change to four red ton of hearts so here is the setup for this trick for this effect you will need one normal card it is gonna be a red ten of hearts and three gimmicked cards which are actually just double back cards blue red double back cards so in a total of four cards now I'm gonna show you uh, one little move okay you have to be able to perform it uh, because you're gonna perform it two times in this trick so I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, perform the move to you and then show it uh, show you how to do it because uh, it is really important the idea is to show four sorry four blue ten of hearts okay so even though you just have one ten of hearts it gives the illusion that you have your four ten of hearts to make this happen you have the ten of hearts on the bottom okay and you hold the cards like so so your ring finger middle finger and index finger are contacting the long edge here okay just on the side and your thumb is underneath now the move you're doing is this you uh, you turn around the card from the bottom edge to the top edge and then from the long edge to the other long edge okay and as you're doing this you peel the bottom card okay this is just the move in slow motion so one more time you're here as you turn around the cat from the short edge to the other short edge okay from here to here and then from here to here and as you're doing this your thumb is gonna peel the bottommost cut okay so it rotates the spectator never sees the red side the spectator just sees the blue side okay and place it on the table so you're and you do this uh, whole sequence uh, three or four times so you're here, you just hold the cards on the long edge, you turn around the card from the short edge uh, to the other short edge, and then from the long edge to the other long edge, and here the move happens, you just peel the bottom card. And do it one more time, like so. And the last hand of hearts just goes on top. So one more time, the move, and then I'm gonna show you how to perform the trick. So you're here, short edge to short edge, long edge to long edge, and take the cap okay so this way and then this way so and so and then you're left or with a facing up ten of hearts and this is basically the most important move uh, in this trick once you can do that we can start with the setup now the setup is very simple uh, you are gonna turn around the cat so they have a different color compared, uh, compared to the ten of hearts so they are blue the ten of hearts is red and you place it and the third position from the top. To get started, you perform a uh, Elmsley count to show four blue cards. And once you have performed the Elmsley count, you turn around the whole block. Be careful not to flash the red card and perform the move I teached you before. Okay, to show four blue ten of hearts. And the facing up ten of hearts is gonna get facing up on top because you don't want to flash it is red. 
Now at this point I always say that magicians perform a trick where the facing down card would turn facing up and so on uh, because I just want to tell them what I'm gonna do because sometimes when you change the blue card to red they don't notice it so I just mention it and then I like say they are gonna change from red uh, sorry from blue to red okay and notice I have your two card because when I'm squaring, squaring them up I'm gonna catch a break beneath the two cards like so now I just talk to them with the cards and perform a double lift okay to show it is now red and I prefer to out jog it a little bit so I can pick up the two cards easier at this point I want to show that I still have um, three blue cards I actually have just two of them what I'm doing is I just side jog the two of them and I do a move like this like I'm gonna perform it it looks something like this you show three blue cards what you do is very simple you peel the first blue card as you peel the second blue card you load this one beneath it okay you say two and three very simple one two and three okay there's a very simple move just practice several times so you take it load it beneath it okay be careful to square them up then two and three and now you're left with the double you just place it in jog okay so they can see more than a half of the blue card and now you just push the red card the double square with the deck and then just peel the top card towards yourself to reveal that the blue card changed red okay now what I'm doing is I, squared, uh, I spread the cards to show that I have two blue and two red cards. As I square them up, I have to take the uh, second red card, which is the ten of hearts, okay, and I just turn it around to show that I have now two red ten of hearts. And at this point, I'm gonna say uh, the reason why I'm using the ten of hearts, and this is just a misdirection because as I'm talking, I will have to turn around the pack, so I would have here now two red cards. So one more time, you're here, as you square them up, take the ten of hearts, and as you flip it over, you can do it at this point, turn around the whole pack, so you have your two red cards. Now I explain why I use the ten of hearts, because it's my favorite card and so on, and then place it facing down on top of the pack, now I have your three red cards, and I want to show that I'm gonna turn one of the blue cards, because they think I have your two of them, to red. And what I'm doing is very simple. Just side jog the bottom blue card, okay? And the move that happens is this, okay? This is the move. And since you shake the cards, it looks really visual. What you do is you press on the top card, and with these fingers over here, you push all of the cards beneath the real ten of hearts square with the blue card. Okay, it's very simple to do because you can really feel it, okay? And as you're shaking it, no one is going to notice it. Now, spread the pack to show that you have three red cards, take the blue card, place it to the third position, and perform the Elmsley count, because the Elmsley count hides the third card. Now you showed four red cards, and it is actually a very impressive moment, because you changed four blue ten of hearts to four red ones. Now you want to show that you have here four ten of hearts. What I'm doing is, I take the top card, which is a real ten of hearts, and as I'm showing it, I catch a break above the bottom card, because it is still blue. Then I place a ten of hearts in the third position, and I really peel it so it looks like I'm placing it uh, beneath the pack. And as I square it up, I just catch a thumb break uh, underneath the three red cards. Now the move, what I'm doing is, is very simple. I just gamblers cop, I think, okay, the blue card, so I can turn around the three red cards on top of it. Okay, it sounds complicated, it's very simple. So, from an exposed view. I'm just taking the pack, I have the thumb break, move them towards myself, and then clip the blue card using this part of my, my hand and my pinky, okay? And then move the other red card towards the spectator, and of course from here, the spectator can't see the blue card. And now I just basically have to take the card turn them around and square them up, up with the blue card, okay? And at this point, the ten of hearts is on the face and I can uh, perform the move I uh, teach you before because now it is gonna look like, sorry, that I have here four 
red ten of hearts and at the end of the trick I can even turn around the real ten of hearts okay and this is basically it so one more time if I can get to the position uh, so you would have here one blue card the ten of hearts goes to the third position catch a font break okay clip the blue card turn around the three cards square them up and perform the move and of course you always have to be careful not to flash any of the blue bags and this is basically the end of the trick and if you really want to end up clean uh, just a little tip you could have uh, like if you want to uh, for example three red of uh, red ten of hearts beneath a, uh, uh, underneath the deck and at some point using some misdirection you could change the gimmick cards like with the uh, real ton of hearts and hand them to the spectator and this is just a little tip and that was basically the trick I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time